Hi, this is Kanda the Smart Home and my name is Andy Reza. So far, we know how to use OLED displays with ESP development boards running ESP Home. Its tutorial video is here if you need it. Also, we know how to read temperature and humidity of environment by using the same IoT dev board. I mean ESP development board running ESP Home. You can watch its tutorial video here too. In this video, I will show you how to display values of sensors. Before going further, please click the subscribe button if you haven't done yet, as it motivates me to upload more videos. Stay tuned. In this video, I have used the HT22 temperature and humidity sensor. I have already connected it to my ESP development. Home Assistant shows humidity value and temperature value. In Home Assistant, navigate to Settings, select Add-ons, open ESP Home. In this page, click Open Web UI. This is my ESP development board. Click edit to open its YAM file to edit the YAM file. Below captive portal, we have lines related to defining font, defining sensor, and display. In order to display values in display section, we have to use lambdas. I add lambdas under address. We can find the lines in description. Talking about font section, file is the path of the font file. This defines the size of the font. Also, we can use the G fonts short form to use Google fonts. This defines the size of this font. In sensor section, as I said, I have THT22 sensor, so the platform is THT. I have connected the data pin of sensor to GPIO14. We have temperature and humidity. The update interval is by default 60 seconds. I change it to 50. Talking about the display section, the platform is the model of the display, also the model. By default, address is set to this value. Lambdas define what to be printed. The first line prints my name by Arial font. This section specifies the position of my name on display. And this defines the alignment. The second line prints temperature column, then the value of temperature Celsius. Percent initiates the format string. Point 0.1 rounds the decimal number to one digit after the decimal point. If I change one to two, it rounds the decimal number to two digits. This section is the state of temperature sensor. This is the idea of temperature sensor as you see here. The last line prints humidity value. Humidity column percent initiates the format string, 0.1 rounds the decimal number to one digit, 
f is the specifier which tells printf the data type of the argument and percent sign this is the value of humidity sensor that must be printed the id is id of humidity sensor as you see here this is the id of the font as you see here and this is the position we want the humidity value to be printed this one specifies horizontal axis this one specifies vertical axis first my name is printed then temperature value below that humidity value will be printed everything is ready I click install as my development board is connected to network wirelessly I select wirelessly in installing edited YAM file begins there is an error in line 58 Wait till installation completes in installing the edited YAM file on development. In installation is done. I click stop and as you see my name, temperature and humidity is being displayed. By the order I talked about. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.